Hello guys, welcome to yet another wonderful session of learning with prep class. My name is Tutor Olalekon Isle, your prep class English tutor, and I am super excited to have you join me in today's session of learning. Now, in today's session, we will be answering questions from the WAEC English 2016 past question. We will be answering questions 31 to 35. But remember, the purpose of this session is to help you prepare for your forthcoming WAEC examination. So, Without wasting much time, take a moment to subscribe to this channel, turn on the post notification so you can be notified whenever we upload any new content. Alright, let's begin. Now for questions 31 to 35, there is an instruction. The instruction reads, from the words lettered A to D, from the word lettered A to D below each of the following sentences, Choose the word or group of words that is nearest in meaning to the underlined word as it is used in the sentence. I will read that again. From the words letter A to D below each of the following sentences, choose the word or group of words that is nearest in meaning to the underlined word as it is used in the sentence. So we are out here looking for the nearest in meaning to the underlined word. Alright, let's begin. Question 31. Most people abhor nagging. Most people abhor nagging. The underlined word here is abo. So we have to select the option that is nearest in meaning to abo. Option A, scorn. Option B, despise. Option C, reject. Option D, slight. So which of these options is the nearest in meaning to abo? Most people abhor nagging. The word abo means to regard with disgust, to regard with disgust and hatred, to hate or to despise. Most people hate nagging. Most people despise nagging. Now, it is not option A, scorn. Scorn refers to a feeling and expression of contempt or disdain for someone or something. It also refers to mockery. When you scorn someone or something, you are mocking that person or thing. Now, the nearest immunity to abo is despise now looking at the meanings of abo we have despise there to despise now the nearest meaning to abo is despise despise means to feel contempt or a deep repugnance for despise means to feel contempt or a deep repugnance for to detest or to hate abo means to regard with disgust and hatred to hate to despise despise means to feel contempt or a deep repugnance for to detest and to hate so the nearest meaning to abhor is despise. It is not reject. Reject means to dismiss as inadequate. Reject means to dismiss as inadequate, unacceptable or faulty. It is not slight. Slight means to insult or to snub. The nearest meaning to abhor is despise, to hate. Most people abhor nagging. Most people hate nagging. Most people despise nagging. Alright, moving on, question 32. Remember, we have to select the option that is the nearest in meaning to the underlined word. Question 32 reads, I really hope Beatrice will be kind enough to let us stay the night. I really hope Beatrice will be kind enough to let us stay the night. The underlined word here is kind. So we have to select the option that is nearest in meaning to kind. Option A, generous. Option B, polite. Option C, gracious. Option D, gentle. Now, the word kind in this context means to be considerate and accommodating. To be considerate and accommodating. I really hope Beatrice will be kind enough, will be considerate and accommodating enough to let us stay the night. Now, it is not generous. Generous means showing a readiness to give more of something. A readiness to give more of something, especially money, than is strictly necessary or expected. If somebody needs a thousand euro, you give a person two or three thousand euros, you are generous. That is not the nearest meaning to kind in this context. It is not polite. Polite means having or showing behavior that is respectful. Now, the nearest meaning to kind is gracious. Gracious means being courteous, kind, and pleasant. To be considerate, being merciful. I really hope Beatrice will be kind, will be considerate and merciful enough to let us stay the night. 
So the nearest it means to kind is gracious. It is not gentle. Gentle means having or showing a mild kind or tender temperament or character to be lenient. So the nearest it means to kind in this context is gracious. I really hope Beatrice will be kind. I really hope Beatrice will be gracious enough to let us stay the night merciful, considerate, and accommodating enough to let us stay the night. Alright, moving on to question 33. Remember, we are to select the option that is the nearest a minute to the underlined word as it is used in this sentence. Question 33 reads I personally think that the costume is rather outlandish. I personally think that the costume is rather outlandish. The underlined word here is outlandish. So we are to select the option that is what? The nearest a minute to outlandish. Option A, outdated. Option B, strange. Option C, unique. Option D, foreign. Which of these options is the nearest in meaning to outlandish? Now, outlandish means looking or sounding bizarre. Looking or sounding bizarre or unfamiliar. I personally think that the costume is rather bizarre. If something is unfamiliar, it is strange. So the nearest in meaning to outlandish is strange. Strange means unusual or surprising. Something that is bizarre is unusual. Something that is unfamiliar is unusual. It is strange. Remember, strange means unusual or surprising, difficult to understand or explain. It means to be poor. It is not outdated. Outdated means to be out of date, to be obsolete. It is not unique. Unique means being the only one of its kind, unlike anything else, to be special. It is not foreign. Foreign means to be strange and unfamiliar. Of, from, in, or characteristics of the country or language other than one's own. When something is foreign, it is not peculiar to you, it is not peculiar to your place. But outlandish means something that is bizarre or unfamiliar. Strange. It is strange. It is not a regular thing. So the nearest a minute to outlandish is strange. I personally think that the costume is rather outlandish. It is strange. Where did you get this costume from? It is not a regular costume. It is outlandish. It is strange. Right, moving on to the next question, question 34. Remember, we are to select the option that is the nearest in meaning to the underlined word as it is used in the sentence. Question 34 reads, He did all he could to fortify the building against attack. He did all he could to fortify the building against attack. The underlined word here is fortify. So we are to select the option that is nearest in meaning to fortify as used in this sentence. Option A, defend. Option B, secure. Option C, shield. Option D, support. Which of these options is nearest in meaning to fortify as used in this sentence? Now, the word fortify means to make strong. To make strong such as to strengthen and secure. To provide with defensive mechanisms. To make a place more able to resist attack. Now, we are going to fortify a building. We will fortify the building during the building process or after the building process before the attack you put some things in place to fortify the building to help the building repel attack before the attack comes so the nearest immunity to fortify is secure secure means free from or not exposed to danger or harm to be safe dependable to be firm not liable to fail you to become not liable to become displaced Something that is certain to remain safe and unthreatened. To secure means to protect against threats, to make safe. To protect against threats, to make safe. Now, when you secure a building, you secure the building before the attack. Probably by using iron bars or security doors like that. You secure before the attack. It is not defend, it is not shield, it is not support. When you defend, when you are defending, you are defending during the attack. Defend means to resist an attack, to resist an attack. An attack is being made already. That is when you defend. But when you fortify and secure, you do all of this before the attack, to prevent the attack. It is not shield. Shield means to protect from a danger, to protect from risk or unpleasant experience. It is not support. Support as a noun refers to a thing that bears the weight of something or keeps it upright. My backbone supports me. Support as a verb means to give assistance to. 
So the nearest immune to fortify is secure. When you fortify a building, you provide it with defensive mechanisms before an attack. When you secure a building as well, you provide it with defensive mechanisms. Mechanisms that will help it prevent and repel attack. This is done before the attack. So the answer to this question is secure. It did all it could to secure the building against attack. As um, an engineer, while building the house, it looks it looked at it like okay. I need to put this in place. I need to put this in place in case of an attack. So it did all it could to secure the building, to fortify the building against attack. Right. Moving on, question 35. Remember, we are to select the option that is the nearest immunity to the underlying word as used in this sentence. Question 35 reads This is one decision you cannot defend. This is one decision you cannot defend. The underlying word here is defend. So which option is the nearest immunity to defend as used in this sentence? Option A, justify. Option B, explain. Option C, support. Option D, express. Now, defend means to speak or write in favor of. In this context of use, when you defend, you are speaking or writing in favor of an action or person. You did something, so you want to justify what you have did. You speak or write in favor of that action. Now, the nearest immunity to defend is justify. Looking at the definition and explanation of defend, we have the word justify. Justify means to show or prove to be right or reasonable. I have done something. So I want to defend it. I want to justify it. It is not explain. Explain means to make something clear or easy to understand by describing or giving information about it. It is not support. Support means to bear all or part of the weight of something, to hold up or give assistance to. It is not express. Express means to convey a thought or feeling in words or by gestures and conduct. Now, the nearest immunity to defend is justify. When you defend, you speak or write in favor of an action or a person. You attempt to justify what you have done or what that person has done. So the nearest immunity to defend is justify. This is one decision you cannot defend. You can't justify this decision. It is wrong. It is a wrong decision. It cannot be defended. It can't be justified. Right. And with that, we've come to the end of this wonderful session. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. If you enjoyed this video, click on the like button. Do not forget to drop your questions in the comment section. Also, share this content with your friends and loved ones. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of your day.